ages. Probably, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years maybe? But this part is home to the shortest cable ride in the world. So today we are gonna get on this cable ride and then go up the hill and then go look around. Come with me, let's go. How's the cable parts working? they have here. They actually have a couple of animals. I'm not sure what they are. Is the bear still alive, Graham? I hope so. Bobo, the one-handed black bear. Yeah, so there's supposed to be a bear here, a big black bear, but again, I've not been here in several years. Oh, look, cable car. Yeah, they're about the same size as the ones in Queenstown. What does the sign say? Park for kids. See how short that cable car is. See, so the cable car ride starts from there. And then... It's not five minutes, is it? And then ends there. No, it's not five minutes. TripAdvisor lies again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that is definitely not five minutes. I bet that's only like two or three minutes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway. I will be doing some sort of a challenge later on the cable car. Hey, roll your own camera. Oh, so these are just birds. It's just birds. Alright, let's go there then. I think the big black bear is on that side. Unless they moved him. No, you can't go there, can you? There's nothing. There is nothing here. There's a swing. Tire swing. Oh. oh well. Something very on the top there, but I can't make it out. It doesn't look very interesting. Let's just get in the cable car. There's some movement. There is some movement. Is that a monkey? Looks like a monkey, I think. Macaw raises. What is that? Well, doesn't look like there's any bear, but there's a statue of the big black bear and some random waterfall. Okay, then, so what does Graham want? He wants a photo with a big black bear in his orange glasses. Okay, Graham, I got it. So that's the big black bear. There's nothing there. Asian black bear. He was one year old when they rescued him. Okay, okay, so let's read the history of Bobo, Asiatic black bear. In the summer of 1984, the then Municipal Council of Macau rescued an around one year old Asiatic black bear from a restaurant. Since then, this Asiatic black bear started its real life in Macau. For more than 30 years after this incident, it has been living in Floral Garden and staying together with Macau citizens. It has become a beloved company for Macau people and this Asiatic black bear was later on named Bobo by the Macau people. The life expectancy of Asiatic black bear is 25 to 30 years old. Bobo, which is already more than 30 years old, can really be a proper grandpa in Asiatic black bear family. Over three decades, Bobo has been witnessing the changes of Macau and its living condition has been improving through all these years. From the outdoor cave back in early days to the custom design dormitory that mimics a natural nowadays. There's air conditioning. Seriously, for a bear. There's air conditioning system in the dormitory creating a cozy environment for Bobo. 
Okay. Really? He lives in. I can't believe he has air. I mean, who pays for the air conditioning for this guy? Probably. One year older than you. And, and he's still good. alive. Huh? And he, and he gets free food and air conditioning. I know. He gets free air, air conditioning too. Oh. No worries. I'm just taking a rest in my room when the outdoor temperature reaches 25 degrees or higher. And in rainy days, the caregivers will open the door for me to get in and out of my room whenever I want. I'll also stay inside in times of rainstorm, thunderstorm, and typhoon. Hope that Grandpa Black Bear Bobo can meet his little friends in a sunny day. So they probably kept him inside because it's 25 degrees. It's over 25 degrees at the moment. Hey look, Bobo's got free Wi-Fi in his building. He's got Wi-Fi. What? He has free Wi-Fi too? Man, this bear is lucky. <laughs> So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Graham didn't get to see the big black bear because it's about like 32 degrees. So, so the bear is cooling down in his own air conditioned room and he won't be allowed out. Anyway, so we are about to get onto the cable car to go up that hill. It is the world's shortest cable car ride. And I'll be doing a challenge on this world's shortest cable car ride. I have here 10 postcards. Now these are all postcards. Postcards I received like a couple months ago before I started YouTubing. And they all have messages on them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read as many postcards as I possibly can during this ride for the duration of the ride. Let's see how many postcards I can get in. Graham, how many do you think I can read? Three. Three. April, how many do you think I can read? Two. Two. I am gonna read at my of the regular. handwriting. I'm gonna read at my regular speed. I think I can get to five. Oh, hang on. Are you reading out loud or in your head? Uh, 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 uh. I think I can get up to five. You didn't answer. I think so. Let's I'm see. Okay. It in your head. So let's see. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, so we just got our tickets. So it's three tickets for the three of us, and it's two MOP each tickets, which is about 0 0.25 US cents. So we are about to get into this thing and then get onto our cable car ride. We just came in here and suddenly there's a whole lot of people. evident that they were gonna push in ahead of us so we are just gonna let them go first. We are in no hurry anyway so it's fine. Did they just let that one go? Unbelievable. They just let it go. We are now inside the cable car so I'm gonna start reading the postcards. Postcard number one is from Yellowstone National Park. It says here, whoa, it says here, Hi Crystal, here's a postcard from my trip out west last summer. Yes, it's been that long ago. The colors in these hot pools are so vivid. We saw a few of the mountain goats. So this is from Denise in Michigan, USA. Thank you very much. Here we have a photo of a snail. But the words are like that, so I have to read it like that. Hi, Crystal. So this is my unique postcard from Tag. I took this photo and made a postcard. Ha ha. I hope you love it. Have an amazing day. Hugs, Evita. So that is from Evita. Postcard number three. Hello, Crystal. This is a painting of the sea and tower located in Ontario, located in, in Toronto, Ontario, the capital of Canada. You can climb to the top of the tower. There are 1,776 steps to get there. 1,815 feet. I have climbed to the top. No way. So this is from Kristen. Kristen Thailand from Canada. 
Next up, we have this one from British Columbia. It says, Hello, Crystal. I took a uh, doodle -doo to Canada last weekend and picked up this card. I don't know. I'm not going to try and understand. Totem poles are unique to the culture of the Northwest Indians. I hope you're doing well, Christine. So, postcard number. Now we go to postcard number five. Yay! I did say I was going to read five. Hi, Crystal. Hope this postcard finds you happy and enjoying the summer. We are finally enjoying sunshine here. It is usually gray and rainy in BC, but that's what keeps our forest so green. Jane Lorraine. Jen, Jen Lorraine. I like this postcard. This is a nice map postcard. Alright, postcard number six. Woohoo! Oh, this is, this is quite long. This is quite long. Hi, dear Chriselle. Thank you for your postcard. I was in Hong Kong in 2007 for my brother's wedding. I was supposed to do a day trip to Macau, but only had a week vacation instead of two weeks. Like I planned, planning a trip back in time. Oh. Well, at least I got to five and a half. Alright, so we timed it. Alright, let's go out there. They don't want us taking photos, so which is so stupid. Yep. I don't know why I was taking a photo with a cable car, with the world's shortest cable car. Alright, so that took two minutes, sixteen seconds. I read five and a half postcards. At least I was right. April said two, Graham said three. I could have read six. But I only got to the black ink on this one. I didn't get to read the pink ink on this one. So five and a half, not bad. Five and a half for two minutes, 16 seconds. I did lie. I did say that I was going to read at my regular speed, but I think I sped up. I read faster than usual. Okay then, so let's go. Come with me. Let us go. 